FlexLink is a Gothenburg, Sweden-based manufacturer of flexible, modular conveyors and industrial automation equipment. Founded in 1980 and part of the Koisha Group since 2012, FlexLink today has more than 1,100 employees and operating units in 27 countries. In 2013, FlexLink initiated a search for a partner to support the development of a new visualization tool. Following an extensive evaluation, FlexLink selected visual components to utilize their 3D manufacturing simulation platform. Svante Anderholm, COO of FlexLink, shares his thoughts on why they chose to partner with visual components. The FlexLink company, the, the way we worked when we wanted to do the design tool was that we were choosing between some different suppliers and we, one of the criteria we had was that the company needs to be flexible, needs to be open to cooperation and needs to adapt to our demands uh, because we wanted to have a system where there's not too many workarounds and too much like that. So one of the most important criteria was actually the, the feeling of uh, what uh, visual components wanted to, to do for us and we felt that they had a very open mind, they shared our vision and uh, it was also the system we found that could best uh, fit with, uh, with our needs. The product that was born out of this partnership was the FlexLink Design Tool or FLDT. This tool has been an essential part of FlexLink software portfolio since 2014. Andreas Larsson has worked extensively with the FlexLink Design Tool first as a developer and now as a sales application engineer. So the design tool is, is a tool that we used within the organization, developed both for, for our internal users and, and also for our customers. Um, it's a tool developed on top of the basic visual component uh, software where we built in a lot of functionality, both building blocks and functions to make it easier to build with our products. This gives us two big advantages. One is that with one standardized tool, you can make sure that you do higher quality systems basically when you build them. And also, I mean, if you give a tool to the customer where it's easy to build with our products, they will probably do it. So. The FlexLink design tool is the core of the FlexLink engineering system. It's integrated with FlexLink's other engineering tools and online store to provide users with a seamless design and sales experience. Having the design tool as a part of a complete suite means that we save a lot of time. Um, we never redo something twice. Having the design tool in the FlexLink portfolio, uh, also together with our other softwares, have changed the mind of uh, or how our customer look at FlexLink. They can use easily to design, they can include robots, they can do 3D PDFs, they can do virtual reality tours of their systems. Robin Kallenberg, FlexLink's lead software developer, spends much of his time developing new functionality for the FlexLink design tool. Uh, the most important features in FlexLink design tool is the automatic conveyor building system and the enclosures toolbox. Uh, a lot of our users use FLDT to create offers for customers uh, and almost all of our new development is focused on making FLDT the main tool for our users to use to present offers. I have a positive experience communicating with the Visual Components development team. Um, I feel like they listen to me when I have concerns. The VC development team is honest uh, with when they can deliver solutions for us. FlexLink continues to push forward the capabilities and functionality of the FlexLink design tool looking for more opportunities to create value for their users. As I see right now, uh, the functionality uh, of visual components that they are expanding their portfolio or their software is really working in favor of us. So from my point of view, I think this will be a partnership going on for a long time. The Visual Components platform provides a powerful and customizable solution for companies that want to develop their own simulation products. To learn more about how companies like FlexLink use this solution, visit visualcomponents.com.